What did I get? Stone Guard Baroth. Eight moss stone. Oh shit. I don't have the pieces that I need. Ah! Stone Guard Baroth. But that's a cool one. And I think. Looky there. So, what you do when you get this is you know these are just pieces so nothing pops up when you get over them but a recipe you get the craft button so you hit craft and then you have to have all these pieces in order to get them and if you don't have it you can view them on the wiki or look on the market you know so you can look on the wiki to find out what it is what all it's used in stuff like that um, And moss, common material, it's just moss. Uncommon, subterranean stone, you can see how rare the stuff is. So green's rare, blue's uncommon, gray, common. So, let's see. On the market. I know it says sell on market, but when you look, you can actually find... Um, Stinging vines. Okay. It says sell on market, but I, I don't want to sell it. I want to get it. Okay, that's not going to work. Alright. Trade offers? No. No, I don't want to be in inventory. Okay, that's not, not working. <clears throat> you need a... They need a buy on market, not sell on market. Alright, let's close this, close this. Close that. Go shop. Go bundle, bundle. Um. That's the guy, Stone Guard Baroth, which is actually a pretty cool one to get. <clears throat> I was hoping for Abomination, uh, but that's that's mythical. That's a really, really tough one to get but hey I got a skin that's a good thing to be happy about and it's uh, I think it's a good one stone guard bear off um, which if you are curious about where that is that's the guy that this is the one. Pretty cool. And he actually has little stone vines that come out, so that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> you can also do the try hero off of the screen if you inspect them and then. Well, you, you can go here and see things, and if you tell it, try. Um, so, if we go back to the shop here, featured. So, can you just. Hmm. I don't want to, like, accidentally. Oh no, I don't want to buy that. I just want it to open the fucking market. Open up the goddamn market. 
I want to see the buy sell trade market. I guess maybe I gotta do the steam overlay. Game groups, DLC, website. You ought to be able to view that market stuff right out of the game. And, uh, hmm. Looks like it's not really working for What the fuck is the market, man? You know, I was looking at the market before. I don't remember how in the fuck I got to it. Special Vandal Dringer skin. Or the Fell Fury Helm. The Fell Fury <coughs> Helm. <coughs> need a Bockerel Horn, which I think I got some of those. You need the Corpse and Blood Screws. Pretty gross. You're gonna put corpses on your head? It's rare gear. Um, apparently, it's only usable by Dringer. Hmm, that's interesting. And what are the stat? Uh, what the hell? The stats aren't there? Why ain't the stats there? Stats should be there. Hmm. That's all it does is just give you a picture. It doesn't say jack shit about what the hell the stats are. Rage preserve 15%, so I guess maybe that's it? Maybe that's all it does? Hmm. Apparently you can buy those for only three cents each. Um, go to Steam Community Market and you can look up soda. Stinging, oh look at that. Stinging vines, only three cents each. So, I mean, it looks like most of these pieces, moss is only three cents. I can buy the ones I need for a dime there, a dime there. Like 50 cents, I'll be able to make this. Wow. They're selling a purple item for only three cents? Oh, 
Holy shit. Timeless gear. Um, what the hell does that mean? Open in wiki. Let's see what it is in the wiki. Health 90 plus 90 at max level, and you also increase your health per second. Oh, it's part of the Steam Summer Sale event. Hmm. This Hero Gear is exclusive and will never be available again. We will be introducing Hero Gear of identical power that is accessible by anyone. So you can also get the Sun Shifter Shield. sound real powerful, doesn't it? Oh, look at this. You can get that recipe for only three cents. Hmm. Sky Lance Taurus. Hmm. It's free? Oh, there are no active listings. That's why it said zero. Six requests to buy at 56 cents. <laughs> One for three cents. Come on, people. If anybody fucking finds that, that's gonna be expensive. You people are retarded. Anybody sell it, you're trying to buy it for 3 cents, 20 cents, 21 cents, but yet no one's found one. Really, people? That's going to be big money uh, if anybody finds it. Uh, here, one person selling Samurai Batar for 36 bucks. Holy shit. Someone's trying to get $47 for Wanderlust boots? Really? You're gonna try and get that for a freaking game? Not gonna happen, pal. Alright, so all those ones that say zero, they say zero because there's nothing available. They're not free. Um, these ones um, are Stoneguard Baroth. Oh, apparent, I was all excited to get it. Apparently there's 300 people that are selling the skin for three cents. No, oh, I haven't seen anybody actually use it. Oh, looky here. Luna Moth Vexy. For only four cents. And, you know, I think she looks pretty cool. I don't know why people don't like that. That looks cool. Four cents. So the ones that are hard to get are the yellow ones. Here's 
I mean, all these you can buy under a buck. Dust Queen Atasha. I think she's, yeah, she's the one that I like. Dust Queen Atasha. Twilight Vexy is pretty cool too. 50 cents for that one. Oh, here, lucky. You can get uh, some of the rare ones for a dollar. Deathbane Lord Decane. That's uh, the one where he looks kind of skeletonish. Rather than, um. And then there's Vandal Dringer, Spellbound Lasker. You can get items. Recipes are the harder thing to get. Bloodborne Silvis is $1.20. Fire Shroud Atasha. It starts to jump up pretty much after that. Oh, looky, somebody's selling Abomination Grub for three bucks. That's, you know, I mean, hell. If you got a good job and whatever instead of playing the game and waiting forever for it to fucking drop you can buy abomination grog for 318 three dollars and 18 cents and of course you're gonna have to buy the stuff to go along with it philosopher's stone and prisoners chains philosopher's stone times three you know out of curiosity let's just see Philosopher's Stone. Let's see. Forty five cents. So there's going to be another buck fifty there. So it's going to be 460. And then prisoners chains. They're three cents each. So, <clears throat> instead of paying eight bucks, it, you know, if you wanted to buy them, you could craft it for about four dollars and fifty cents. That's for a mythical skin, which is kind of, you know, it's tough to find. And the other ones, you can all. Um, you know, you can do those for under a buck. <laughs> ah. Bye, you 
must have steam purchase. It is between 30 days and a year old with no recent chargeback. So I still gotta wait a few days, damn it. Now, my, my Steam account's like five years old, some shit like that, but uh, I can't get stuck yet. This would be how I'd buy that for four cents. Fuck on, man. Why can't I just fucking buy that? Well, at least there's a lot of them, man. 117. Yay. I'm gonna buy that. Because she's cool. Once the 25th hits, I'm going to come here and I'm going to snag up some of these cool things. Skylance Taurus. Let's take a look at that. So, we have a deal. Oh, that's him. Oh, now see, he looks, looks pretty cool. change the abilities at all. It's, it's just a book, you know. It's, it's fun. It's a cosmetic fun thing to do. <clears throat> and to see the Vex, Who wants to play? Mm. You got the regular Vexy. This is uh, Twilight Vexy. Which I think looks pretty neat. I like, you know, there's regular and then there's like, I think Twilight looks cool. And then there she is, is a Luna, a Luna Moth, which I think looks pretty damn cool. I like <laughs> nice little tail end on her, too. It's your, your emo love affair, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Special power or attack power. Let's put that hat on her. And I wanted to be able to craft this weekend, but unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be able to.
got lucky and got the Stingbird uh, Arrow Recipe. Can't access the market to. I need something that gives me like a ding or a notification when somebody comes in. Uh... That thing caps out at 250 because it never shows more now. <coughs> Man, is there any way I can unlock? Nothing further occurs. You can use the market. Um, is there a way to speed that up? You made a valid purchase, so yeah, because I bought a game. But it's not 30 days old yet. Whoopty fucking shit. So I bought a game and it hasn't been a month. What? Big fucking deal. Why, why does Steam put that damn restriction on there? Your account must have a successful purchase older than 30 days. What the fuck does that matter? But not older than a year? That doesn't make any sense. So basically, you gotta be between a month to 11 months, but not older. Not older, and not older than 12 months, not younger than one month.
shouldn't have a dang lock on there. I mean, I've had the same credit card on the account for over a year. Ugh. Shouldn't freaking make a difference. So I'm stuck until the 25th. An invite. Oh, cool. Shame I can't buy none of that stuff. I'd like to. I would like to buy it. Sure, advanced option. Oh, cool. Check that out. So, if I want, I can look for mythical items only that is a skin or a skin recipe. And search. So what is the difference between the actual skin? <clears throat> I'd like to at least see one to know. Uh, those those are all recipes. So the cheapest one is a buck. For Deathbane Lord Decane. And then you can get Dandel Dringer, Spellbound Lassiter, Abomination Grog. How many of those are there? Uh, two for three, one for twelve. <laughs> Someone trying to get 162 bucks. <laughs> yeah, blow me. Not gonna happen, bud. All right, let's check all of these. And we'll look for skin and skin recipes. I just want to see what is out there. And sort them by price. <clears throat> so it looks like the one I got is uh, like the second most common and cheapest. But you know what? I don't care. I'm happy with it. I like it. It's one that I wanted. And then Luna Moth Vexi, which is cool because that means it'll still be available. These are all recipes. I don't see any of the just flat out skins. Uh, maybe those aren't sellable. I, th I think they are sellable. Recipes too. Oh no, here we are. A dollar seventy-two for the Solaris. Um, so it's a special skin. The 
that has a specific look, and I think that look is actually uh, kind of silly. I don't like the way that looks. I like it. His his normal. Uh, that's is for Sarah one. I like his normal one because he's like a nature guy. But uh, the Solaris ones are all blue and yellow, which uh, is like a summer sale thing that's supposed to be a big deal. But um, I mean, he he's a nature guy. He shouldn't be blue and yellow. For Buck, you can get all these different ones here. Dragon Scale Valamir. Now, that one might be interesting. What do they call a Dragon Scale? Why is he? What about it is Dragon Scale? It's all common materials except for five steel plates and an imperial seal. And that is what it looks like. So I guess it's his shield that is a uh, dragon scale. Yeah. Bruiser Grog for 250. That's the one with the big metal fists. I'd rather have the abomination. Well, that's everything that's available for skins right there. Hmm. Oh, that's actually cheaper than um, buying it. Buying it is two forty nine, and you can get them through them for $1.94. ninety four. Um, maybe they're being dropped too. That's possible. Timeless is all um, specials, I believe. Hmm. That's a shame. Well, I wish I could get that right now, but I can't. Rising Storm. What is Rising Storm? I don't know why people don't come. I put on my, uh, description 
you know, that you watch for a shot at chess with rare skin chance in them. Apparently people don't realize you can get. They don't care enough to watch other people's. I don't know, maybe they just figure they'll buy what they want. A lot of people out there with more money than common sense. Maybe, maybe I should mention in it that it's an English feed. That might attract some, uh, but not others. Somebody's got that one. That's pretty cool. I like seeing uh, people being able to have the skins. That's that's nice. I like the Luna Moth character, man. <laughs> <laughs> to play. Welcome yeah. to the sunken forest. And I heard that they altered his vines too. Oh yeah, they did. Look, his vines are different. That's cool. And um, his vine ability eats mana, so you know you need to. The army's march. And the last one for the road.
yourself to a targeted, friendly nightmare structure or board after a short One for the road, quite potent. Leather meets the lane. Oh, come on! 
total bullshit. Every time those motherfuckers chase me, they friggin' just run me down and smack me along the way, but I'm chasing her and I can't hit her once. That's bullshit. May it and serve I well. as sure as the gods. Stuff. 
stuff. You know, if you do it, yeah, you can. You can reset. <coughs> change this so I'll look at that yep I can reset it cool so these are all life steel Just looking at maybe how to reset this guy and what to add him to. I was thinking, you know, people do a whole lot of lifesteal stuff. That may be really helpful. Basic attacks and single target abilities against monsters deal bonus damage and restore health. See, that seems like a damn good thing to get. So now, do you actually gotta buy fucking all of this? So then, to start out, I'm gonna say for him, he wants to get this and this. Summon a spectral wolf that will seek out enemy heroes. If it 
reach and it reaches one, it will slow and reveal them at night. Three are summoned. Wow. And its unique aura is that it gains... Grants lifesteal and attack speed to nearby friendly heroes. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, what I'm going to say... Is I'm going to put this into Recommended Essential. And for that, you need the Hunter's Spear and the Leeching Vial. I'll put some health things in there. You won't be able to buy both of these off the bat. You have to buy one or the other. to go in there and then this pendulum axe I'm gonna need to get that to be able to make that and you probably have to buy the other pieces in between. Is it better to do that or to get vampiric plate? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do vampiric plate. I'm just gonna try this build and see what happens. This one also seems to be a real pain to me. Narrow side, that, that might be good. Your basic attacks deal increased damage, prevent a small amount of damage from enemy. Although the Slayer male, no. What's spell vamp? Spell vamp. You recover health equal to a percentage of the damage dealt by your abilities. Oh. Oh, but 
that's to neutral monsters. <clears throat> so that'd help you a lot if you're doing stuff in the jungle all the time. Not real sure what the fudge spell that is, but I'm not clear. Oh, look at that. You can buy those and cast on an allied structure. Gains damage absorption, absorbing shield. The shield's strength and duration are increased if applied during the quest. That's uh, interesting. I had no idea that you had those. And they do have teleport scrolls. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. But anyways, I'm just gonna try this and see. So now that I've built that, if I click him again, yay, it's there. So, I don't know. Try it and see if it sucks or if it's good. We'll find out.
material uncommon. You can see on these materials, you can see pretty quick what they are. If there's no shading up top, it's a great common one. Blue, it's uncommon. Green is rare. You can have a sort by rarity if you want to. Put some most rare at the bottom. And you can reverse it with the arrow. <clears throat> I sure wish I could craft that puppy. I would really like to. Upvotes and these guys, what do they have more viewers? Hmm. <coughs> Goat Ah, uh, what the hell? He's got a sub button? No? He does not have a sub button. Hmm. Huh. How is he getting that? He's getting... Twitch alerts. Hmm. Oh, Still waiting on a stream to, or not a stream, a uh, game to pop up here. It's currently searching for a match. Uh, I'm gonna run a five against the AI co-op. Uh, just working on getting the virtue level and the player level up. It's being streamed to Twitch. featured streamers interesting I'm gonna have to keep 
Get that up there. What? Why did it get... It just fucking popped up. I was about to click it. What the hell? Features are free to use, but one person is one percent.
Welcome to the Sunken Forest. Alright, time to play my game. <clears throat> right. A soldier's march in 30 seconds. But I never see any pelt. Water of life. Don't make me regret this. Another round. Oh, um. 
has destroyed a tower. Point you bit away from you.
nothing but focusing on killing things and then it's getting more experienced. Time for this! They fight me! Eric is yours. Rug do good. Rug is shiny. Rug no like it. Splendid choice. Grog have more feast! Grog stronger! An enemy has been slain. Why you call day break?
Taken the chalice. Your tower has been destroyed. Enemy is closer to ascension. Destroyed a tower. An enemy has been slain. Closer to ascension. Right there. Murat's fangs passed from legend.
An ally has ascended. <laughs> Your tower has been the destroyed. The adventure ended long ago. Round three! Destroy the tower. Stop them. Enemy has been slain. Not Destroy the tower. An enemy has been slain. Destroyed a tower. Rug going. Your team has destroyed a rune stone. has been destroyed.
goes then. No change. So it's getting ready to start another quest. This one is going to be for Valkyrie's watch. Hidden there. Should be right there. A Valkyrie appears. Rog show them. I noticed this time the reason I'm lower level than them. Because while I was off doing the quest, they were fucking around doing other shit. I did the damn quest, and they didn't. Mm. <sighs> 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 Team has destroyed a tower. Hey, is it Your world is burning. The rune stone has regained its power. Your team has destroyed a tower. Destroyed a rune stone. Your team has claimed Valkyrin's watch. No, rug to good. Your team has destroyed a rune stone. Hunger is made. May it serve you well.
Destroyed a rune stone. Always running. Double kill. Triple kill. Health 10. 